you can now let AI control your entire computer. What I'm about to show you is not only the future of AI, but what I think is the future of computing. Anthropic just gave me exclusive early access to Claude 4 Chrome, their AI agent that controls your computer. You give the agent a prompt, it does whatever you want in your browser. This might be the most powerful AI tool yet. What I'm about to show you in this video is two awesome use cases you can do with Claude for Chrome, and then I'm gonna compare it to other AI browser use agents like Perplexity Comet to let you know which one's the best and which one you should invest in. If your mind's not blown by the end of this video, you're insane. Let's get into it. So what you're looking at here on the right hand side is Claude for Chrome. It's their extension for Google Chrome, right? So it's an AI agent that's actually an extension in Google Chrome that controls your entire browser. Over on the left hand side is my email inbox. So I pray to God nothing embarrassing is going to show during this video. What I'm gonna do is give Claude for Chrome some commands to do in my email inbox that will save me tons of time that I think a lot of people do when they'll get their hands on this technology. Basically the way this works is Claude has control of your browser and can do anything it wants in there. It can type, it can click on things, it can send emails. Anything you can do in your browser, Claude can do as well. So let's start giving it commands that it'll perform in my browser for me. So if you're anything like me, you subscribe to every single AI newsletter you see. So I have thousands of newsletters that come to me on a daily basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Claude for Chrome go through my email inbox, find me all the newsletters, read through all the newsletters, summarize them, and then email me that summary. So instead of me having to go and read a thousand newsletters every single morning, instead I'm going to read one summary email that Claude will be sending me that has a rundown of all of those newsletters. So it saves me a ton of time, so I don't have to read a thousand different newsletters. So here's the prompt. Search my inbox for any newsletters, then email me a summary of those newsletters with a title and description of the newsletters. And I'm going to hit enter. And what you're going to see here is Claude is going to take control of my computer. So it says, I'll help you search your inbox for newsletters and email a summary to you. Let me take a screenshot to see the current state of your browser, then navigate to email inbox. Okay. So it screenshotted my browser to see what it looks like. It's now searching through my inbox for newsletter or mailing list. It hit enter and now has a rundown of all the newsletters in my inbox. Uh, so it clicked and you can see all the commands it's doing over here on the right hand side, right? So it clicked, it typed newsletter or unsubscribe or something else. It hit return. It's waiting three seconds. It's taking a screenshot now so that it can see everything in my inbox, right? That's how it sees. It takes screenshots. So everything's done through screenshots. Perfect. I can see the search results. So it sees, it sees various newsletters. It can see the rundown, open AI, Substack, uh, tech brew, a 16 Z speed run, Yahoo fantasy, Fantasy football starting next week. Promise you I'm going to win. Uh, snacks. Okay, so now it's going down. It's scrolling down my newsletters. And now it's going through and reading all of those newsletters. Perfect. I now have a comprehensive view of the newsletters. Let me scroll down a bit to make sure I capture all the newsletters before composing the summary email. Excellent. Now I have a comprehensive list of email newsletters. I can see. Okay, so now look at this. It opens up the new message. Right, so it clicked, it opened up the compose email. It's taking a screenshot to see where the email composer is. All right, looks like it put in the subject line newsletter summary from your inbox. It's taking a screenshot to make sure it did the right thing here. I love that. All right, let me take a screenshot to confirm the subject was entered correctly. All right, it's verifying its work to make sure it wrote the subject in there correctly, which I like. All right, perfect. I can see the subject newsletter summary from your inbox is now in the subject fields. Now I need to click in the email body area to compose the newsletter summary. I can see there's space below the subject field where I can type in the email content. Okay, so clicked, and now you can see here it moved the cursor into the email composer so that I could write the email. Now let me take a screenshot to confirm I'm in the email body. So it's going step by step just like a human being would, right? It's clicking in each area, it can see everything on the browser, and then it's confirming through the screenshot that it's doing everything correctly. Basically, the AI agent's eyes are the screenshots of everything going on in the computer. All right, now I'll type the newsletter summary based on all the newsletters I found in the search. Okay, so now it's about to type in, oh, here it is. Here's a summary of the newsletters I found in your inbox. So it's going through, oh wow, it's categorizing it by the uh, type of the newsletter, product and development, entertainment and lifestyle, business and finance, AI and technology. I love that. Uh, and now let's see. Great. I can see the cursors in the email body area. Now I'll type the newsletter summary. Wow. Okay. These newsletters span a various categories, including AI technology, business finance, product development, 
and now it's taking a screenshot to confirm the email content is there and then it is going to send the email. Perfect, I can see the emails composed with the email being sent to me, the subject, the body. And notice there was a little pop-up advertisement Gmail had in there. So it exited out of that, it dismissed that pop-up. And now I think what it should be doing next is clicking send so it can send me the email. Now let me click, oh, boom, clicked send. It just hit send. Let's see what happens here. Let's go back to my inbox. And there it is, me, summary, su summary for your inbox. And there's the email the AI agent sent to me. So there it is. Let's run down what just happened here before we go into the next incredible use case, right? It went in, it went through my entire inbox. It found all the newsletters. It summarized them for me in my email and then sent them to me, right? Imagine if this got automated, right? The next step is clearly automation for this. So imagine I can give it a task every morning, do this for me. And now I don't need to worry about reading all the newsletters in my inbox anymore. Every morning, Claude, it just goes and summarizes the emails for me. That's clearly where this technology is going, right? It just saved me a ton of time and a ton of work. I don't need to read every single newsletter now. I now have a rundown of all those newsletters. The next use case I'm gonna show you with this Claude agent is a curation of stories and creating content. So what I usually do when I'm creating these YouTube videos is I try to find top AI stories and then turn those into scripts. But now I can automate that with this Claude agent. So what I'm gonna have it do is find the top AI news stories, go into Google Sheets, create a new spreadsheet, put those stories in there, and then come up with scripts and titles for each one of those stories so that I can go in and maybe every day just have a list of potential videos I can film. This will make it so I don't have to hire writers, so I don't have to hire researchers, and it also just save me a ton of time on top of that. So let's get into the Claude agent. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say, find me a list of top AI news stories, then create a new spreadsheet in Google Sheets and put the news stories in the spreadsheet in different rows. Then create me a YouTube script and title for each news story in different columns, right? I know everyone watches videos, probably not a YouTube creator, but for you, this could be things like things you do at work, right? You probably have to create spreadsheets at work so you can have this do research for you, maybe look through your inbox and then create those spreadsheets for you. This can save you a lot of time no matter what industry you're in. So I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna have the Claude agent get to work. I'll help you find the top AI news stories, create a Google Sheets spreadsheet with them and add YouTube script content. Let me start by searching for recent AI news. So it's in Google, it's gonna search for AI news inside Google. Again, I'm not touching anything, I'm not typing anything. It's searching, top AI news stories 2025. Uh, so it has, and what you can see here on the right hand side is everything that how the, so what you can see here on the right hand side is how the Claude agent is thinking again. So it searched for AI news, it changed the input, it pressed return, it waited, it's reading the page. I can see the results of the AI news. Let me click on the news tabs to get the current AI. So a new to go to the news tab to get the latest news. I'm in London right now, so it's showing all the different stories of UK AI news and trends. That's fine. For the record, it always seems like the biggest news stories come out while I'm on the road, while I'm on vacation. So of course I had to figure out a way to film this in a hotel, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, so now when in the Google Sheets, it created a new spreadsheet. I can see that there's a blank spreadsheet. Let me click on the blank spreadsheet template to create a new one. Okay, so now it's in there. Perfect, I now have a new Google Sheet document open. I can see the spreadsheet interface in the cell selected. I will start with the title in cell A1. Okay, so now it's creating the columns for us. So the news title, let me click directly on the main spreadsheet area to select the cell A1. All right, so it's in there. It just typed in news title. All right, so it's creating those columns for us. I imagine I'll have the story in the next, so it's hit tab to move down. All right, so it puts source in B1, it's moving over to C1. All right, it just put date in C1. Okay, I imagine it's gonna do the YouTube script and the YouTube title in D1 and E1, I would guess. It's taking a screenshot after every change it makes to make sure it's doing it correct, I assume. All right, now let me add the next header for YouTube title in D1. Okay, so it's creating the headers one by one, which is great. And as this goes, all right, so now I created the next column, which is YouTube script. Okay, now I have all my headers set up. Let me start adding the AI news stories. I'll begin with the first news story in row two. Let me click on cell A2. Man, I had to do so much monotonous spreadsheet work in my job before. This would have saved me so much time. This is going to make the office life so much easier for a lot of people. Imagine this is connected to your Claude memories and it knows everything about you so it can customize what it's doing in your browser based on what it knows about you. There's so much potential here, it's crazy. I feel like I'm in day one of this like revolutionary chain. All right, so it put the news title in cell A2. It's moving over to the source. I'm excited to see what it does for the YouTube title and script. So now, 
we're not only having it do kind of the hard work of finding stories, but we also have it do creative work, which is coming up with the YouTube scripts and titles. So I'm excited to see how that turns out. So it's putting the source in, it's taking screenshots every step of the way to ensure it's doing the right work here. I like that. Okay, it moved to the wrong cell. Now it's taking a screenshot. I'm interested to see if it's gonna recognize it did the wrong thing here. Good, the source is now saved it. Now I'm in, okay, so yep, it fixed the cell, moved over to the right cell, now it's putting in the date. All right, so here's where it gets interesting. Let's see what, it, okay, yep, came up with the YouTube title, AI security crisis, 63% of UK predict major cyber attacks in 2025. All right, is that exactly an AI story I'm gonna make a YouTube script out of? Probably not, but let's see how it does with the actual script itself. All right, it's in the script cell. Let's see how it does here. All right, perfect, I'm in cell E2. Let me create a YouTube script for the story and boom, there's the script. Let me, I'm gonna hit stop here. Let's see what we got so far. Intro, hey AI enthusiasts, shocking news from the cybersecurity world. 63% of CISOs expect major cyber attacks in 2025 with AI both creating new threats and offering solutions. All right, so it gives me kind of a light script. This is the exact script I'm probably gonna use, no. But it's a starting spot, right? And now imagine I just have this running 24-7, looking for AI news stories, putting them into spreadsheets for me, just having me prepared. You can see how this can now start replacing people and making it so one person businesses like me can get a lot done. Instead of having to go do hours of research every day, hours of writing scripts, hours of coming up with titles, I can save that with this AI agent. And the same goes for you, depending on what you're doing. Any kind of manual work you do on computers now can be taken care of with this Claude agent. It is super, super powerful. Now, is this the first browser use agent? No, there isn't. Probably the most popular one at the moment is Perplexity Comet. But the thing with Perplexity Comet is this, and it's the concern I had at the beginning, is it is an entirely new browser, right? Perplexity basically forked Google Chrome and built their entire own browser just to house an AI agent. What I like about Claude is, is they built this to be an extension for Chrome. So you don't need to use a new browser to use this AI agent. I think 99% of people have no interest in switching browsers, and maybe they'll play around with Perplexity Comet for a couple minutes and then they'll come back to Chrome and never go back, right? Claude, they're not trying to force you into new applications. They just build software for the things you're currently using. They try to make things as convenient as possible. Instead of making you use an entirely new development environment to use Claude code, they just did it so you can use it in your terminal and you can open up the terminal and cursor so you can code where you've always been. Instead of having to make you download a new browser to use their AI agent, they just have it as an extension for the browser you're already using. I love this mindset from Anthropic to make it as easy for you and as natural for you to use their AI tools and enhance your current workflows already instead of forcing you into new workflow. This is really powerful and almost every use case I've given it so far, it's been able to do pretty much flawlessly. The one use case it actually failed at was I, I tried to have it edit my thumbnail inside Canva. I won't show it to you because it took forever to get to a really bad result, but it just could not figure out how to like edit the text, make the text look good. It didn't have much good taste when it came to visual design. So the AI agents aren't there yet when it comes to visual design, but for more of the monotonous work, for curating information, for summarizing, putting information together and putting together spreadsheets and documents and emails, it is really really impressive. It's in exclusive early access now. If you want to be a part of it, make sure to sign up on their website for the wait list. They are slowly rolling it out now. I've enjoyed it so much and I cannot wait to see where it goes from here. I'm going to actually run an experiment. I think I'm going to buy a computer dedicated to this and just have it run 24 seven on the computer doing different things in my browser, just doing work for me. I'll create a follow up video on that. So make sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications to get that video when it comes out. I really appreciate you watching the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it or learned anything at all, and I'll see you in the next video.